Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. Ah, so Cancers, let me get my feet up on the chair, okay? All right, I'm all comfy now. It is getting late Cancers and I, before I go to bed, I figured I would try giving you guys a late night, just a really quick check-in for your person, okay? Um, really, really quick, like, you're like, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think I can do a quick reading. I don't think I've ever been able to. Um, so anyway, listen, Cancers, this reading is for the collective, my darlings. It is not going to resonate with all of you. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic, right? Um, just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't, okay? And, um... I love you guys. <laughs> I love my cancers. Um, you guys rock. Uh, thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. You guys have been fabulous. Um, I'm so proud to call you my soul tribe, my peeps, right? I always call you my peeps. Um, so anyway, cancers and this channel is for adults only. All right, I just wanted to give you a quick check-in on your person's energy. Oh, number one, they're seeing you. This is how your person is feeling, okay? They're seeing you as being like a beautiful, stunning creature, right? You're, you're just awesome. They also see you tossing the love away though here. See how she's throwing all these roses away. All this unrequited love. You're like, and you're holding up your hand like, I'm done, I'm done with this. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I feel though you, you're so high vibing and this around you, that's like the portal to me. You're, you're stepping into the new cycle and as you do that, you're throwing away unrequited love, saying I've had enough. Yeah, I feel like um, you've healed here and because of that, uh, wish fulfillment is coming to you. That's really what I'm getting here, Cancer. Really quick, like, right? But I feel like uh, in your person's life, it's, it's just like devastated. I feel your, like your person feels somewhat devastated, okay? Um, it's like a feeling. They feel devastated uh, because they, they want to be free. They want to be free. Ooh, what's this? I didn't see this one on the bottom. What is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this person has been locked up tight, okay? Uh, chains across their mouth. They haven't been speaking. They feel like they can't. They feel like they have to be silent. I don't know. Uh, and they're running out of time here and they're being watched. I feel like that eyeball is the karmic eyeball um, or it could be the divine as well. But see that little, it's almost like there's a little bell here. The, their time, the, the time's up is what I'm feeling. And this person, they really want to be freed from the situation. I don't know. I don't know why they're not freeing themselves. I, know, I don't think any of us understand that. I think I, the divine is keeping it a secret. I don't know. They're, they're feeling very fearful here. Whoever they are around who's watching them, they're like afraid of that person. And uh, they're feeling very devastated because they're, they're wanting to come to you here. Um, they're wanting to free themselves. This is what all they can think about here. This is not a sexual card. <laughs> it is not. Um, this is a healing card. This is the, a comfort card, okay? This man here, uh, masculine energy, falls into this feminine, feminine's arms. You're the one with all the color here, Cancer, okay? This is you. And there's something about your touch, something about just the feel of you. The feel of you is comforting. But we all know that, look, us cancers, right, we are number one, number one for being loving, caring, and nurturing, all right? We are number one in the zodiac. So, of course, this person now feeling depleted, I feel like they're very drained, depleted. Look at them. 
They could even be like aging prematurely. This person is afraid, living in fear somewhere. They want to come to you really bad. Ooh, they may be worried that there's another guy. This could be you and another, and another uh, person. This is the new cookie here. I think this is a fear for your person. They don't want you in the arms of anyone else. They don't. They do not want you in the arms of anyone else. And that would make sense since you're in this energy. Throwing away unrequited love, holding your hand up like, I'm not getting what I deserve out of this. You know what I mean? Um, healing, moving on to wish fulfillment here. There's a wish here coming. And there's, there's three wishes here. See the stars? And then all of a sudden, your person's thinking that you're in the arms of another man, woman, man, woman, however you want to, whatever it is for you, okay? Take it how it resonates, guys. But that's what I'm seeing here. That, that, that's a big, huge worry for this person. Um, I'm telling you, communication's coming in fast, a lot of it. They think about you in someone else's arms like this? Oh, no, 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 no. Here they come. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally love your readings. I, I don't know what kind of energy I picked up on, but man, it's beautiful energy. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, I feel like a situation's coming to an end here. It's getting devastated. I, I feel like it's it's getting leveled here. Oh, once again, I'm holding my deck upside down. Let's get some mixed emotions on this. Um, I want to see how they're feeling here. I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to get like a jealousy kind of card, envy, something like that here. Their, their biggest worry right now with you single, throwing away unrequited love, any kind of unrequited love, and looking as beautiful as you, as you are. You are stunning, high vibing, independent, um, graceful, knowledgeable, intuitive, um, gentle, caring, kind. You have a great heart and you're just, you have this beautiful Cancerian energy here. All right, and they don't want you in the arms of someone else. They never, ever, ever, oh no, no, no. They don't want to think it. They don't want to see it. They don't want to know it. Yeah. So anyway, they're coming in. <laughs> they're coming in to communicate because of that though. I don't know. I don't, some of you could be in the arms of someone else already. Some of you could have a new cookie, right? Um, if not, I feel like, if, you know, I feel like new, someone new is coming in anyway, and I feel like you've been manifesting it here. This is one of the things that's coming to you in the new cycle. Um, this is one of those wish fulfillments, okay? You've got three wishes on this card. You've got two on this card. So this is, this is one of them. Someone new who's going to love you the right way. And your person is like not, not digging that at all. Oh, 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 no. They're not liking that at all. Love me, love me. This person is coming in. They want your love, Cancer. I'm telling you, I've been telling you for days. This is so awesome. <laughs> they want your love. Love me. Nothing like a good Cancer read to get me all pepped up again. I was so exhausted before this reading. Um, I feel like they are watching you. I feel like others are watching you too. Okay, I want I really want to get some mixed emotions on it, guys. 
I can dig in really deep with the mixed emotions. Okay, so now your person has a lot of respect for you, okay? They see you, um, they admire you, but they see you as a, as, as a match in energy. And they're very respectful of how you handled yourself during this, during this whole ordeal, this journey. Uh, the lessons you learned from the last cycle, how you bossed up, powered up, you know, um, grew your own abundance. Um, how you cross through this into this next cycle as awesome as you as you are cancer holy crap look at you right they admire you for everything that you've become everything that you are everything that they've seen and believe me I, I guess that's why this is here they've they've been watching you this person feels horrible absolutely horrible for how things went between you and them. Okay, look. They had, you know, this was like a celebration between you two. Um, I, think, I think you felt it, I think they felt it as well, okay? But they made one bad mistake after the next and everything got all clumped together and now they don't know how to reconstruct this thing back to its original condition there's just no way and literally they're looking at this like a melted pile of clumpy wax right and they're like oh I mean just like it's a sick in like pit in the gut feeling of how horrible they treated you how horrible because it was going beautifully Look at all these colors. It looked like this. This is this is the weeks or the months that you guys were together. And look at all that beautiful color and all of a sudden it just freaking halts. It just stops abruptly. I feel like this person ghosted you, abandoned you. First it was beautiful, beautiful. Everything was going great maybe towards the end it got a little bit shaky like you wondered what the heck was going on and then it just stopped gone poof gone along with the promises gone along with all the sweet talk gone along with all of those memories right I mean I don't think you guys were with each other for too long but it was long enough to make a huge impact on your person because they definitely want you now for real and they're like love me very possessive watching you like a hawk wanting to restart this they're wishing they could restart this and like have pick up where they left off but they know that uh, the chances of that happening are slim to none, right? That's what this person's thinking. Uh, you know, they left you with a broken heart and you transformed cancer. You transformed. They left you a freaking mess. And you turned into a into a butterfly and and turned it into a whole new beginning for yourself and look at you now confident graceful beautiful you're still loving you're still caring but you're throwing away love that didn't give you anything back right yeah you healed from that broken heart though I feel there's some there's a lot missing but you you're you're going to be able to fill it and you know you may even color this finish coloring this with someone new I think I really feel like um, it's going to come down to a personal decision for you you know it's going to come down to a choice but for now right now I feel like you're choosing you I, I feel like you're single right now okay you're single right now and you're just stepping into a brand new beginning I feel like your person's approaching you but they need to be very very careful how they handle this situation 
um, because they're about to free themselves from something that they're really afraid of, okay? Um, so they're trying to they're trying to be as careful as they can in this situation, not just in approaching you, but getting out of this all of this stuff that's being destroyed here. Yeah, but they this is what they want with you. And they want this with you fast before you wind up in the arms of someone else. Yeah. You you manifested something like that in. It's coming. <coughs> I feel like I feel like this is your person being empathetic and caring here. Um, they may be wanting you to be compassionate though too, but I feel like this is them trying to care for you. See, this person knows how horrible they made you feel. They know what exactly what they did here. And I think this person wants to come back in and care for you. Care for you, okay? Because, like I said, they really do. They feel horrible over what, how they treated you and how things happened. Um, all right, how else does this person feel? Yeah, you're right, guys. I can't do a fast reading. What is wrong with me? Discouraged. They're feeling discouraged. Dispirited, disheartened, deterred. I feel like this is that what's going on over here but I also feel like they're just they're afraid man they're, this person's afraid and they, they know all that they did to hurt you they know they broke that wing they know they broke that wing and the chances are slim to none that that wing is it, it, like they're going to be able to heal it properly do you know what I'm saying it's a very small delicate bird so I mean they're just they're scared, you know, and sad. Very sad over this. Very exhausted, stressed out. Your person needs to rest. But I'm, I'm telling you, though, they're coming in here. How do they feel about this communication? How does this person feel about the communication? Because they, they're coming. We've got the knight in shining armor and all of this communication here. Vulnerable. They feel vulnerable. They know they're, they're unprotected here. <laughs> it, the, it, the communication, that's just a clear sign that it really truly is coming. This is, a, this is very realistic here. And, you know, I asked, how do they feel about this communication? And, yeah, they feel very vulnerable, but it is coming. And look at all of this movement. It is coming. I'm telling you. They don't want you in the arms of someone else. And they know that that's coming, too. This person's very shy because they're feeling vulnerable. <laughs> Hesitant, timid. You know, they're they, like I said, they're they know they broke your wing, and they need to be very cautious and careful because they know all the damage that they did. You know, but they so want you to love them again. They want you to love them again. Okay. Um, they don't know really how you feel about them right now. All they know is the kind of person you are. They know the kind of person you are. Okay, and honestly, quite frankly, coming out of my mouth like that, I think that, I think that means a lot. For someone to actually know who you are and know what you're capable of and they're proud of your accomplishments and look this is how they think of you right absolutely wonderful and amazing they want you to love them
They don't want you to be with someone new. They don't want you to be with someone different. They don't want you to be with anybody else, Cancer, but them. Hands down, period. Yeah. But <laughs> coming towards you with this communication, though, it, it scares them because they know that you're that you're resentful they know that you're offended they know that you're bitter because of the way they treated you and you know and yeah and you're their happiness you're their happiness you know I don't think you're resentful I don't think you're bitter I think maybe they just feel like you are I kind of feel like you've healed this is someone who's releasing that unrequited love and saying you don't need it because you're moving forward and you're feeling fine independently okay yeah but you know they're they're thinking they're gonna I mean that's why they're they're very scared here I feel about coming forward but they know they've got to before someone else does and they know with how wonderful and amazing and everything that you are there will be a someone else there will be a someone else they don't want that to happen man they're feeling very desperate right now at the end of their rope here uh, frantic um, in need <laughs> They may need to talk to someone and get some um, advice. Let's see. What else can you show me for Cancer's person? But they're, they're coming forward. That's what I'm feeling. You're going to get communication. I feel like other, other people, I feel like this new cookie is coming too. It says the other guy. So there's another guy coming too, okay? they're both coming do you understand you do have this is a wish fulfillment coming in coming in here fast um, you'll have a, um, a new cookie show up and I feel like your person is trying to head that off they, they, they want to reach you before this new person does <laughs> It's getting intense, Cancer. It really is. It's getting intense. Honestly, oh man, I wish I could have all you guys like stuffed in here in my house so we could just sit here and like really go through it all night long. Wouldn't that be so cool? Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. I feel like this is you, Cancer, just being very calm, very peaceful. And yeah, I... I just saw a flash of light in my house. That was crazy. There was just a flash of light, right, right. Did you guys see it? You might have seen it. It was right over, right like at the, at the tip, of, at the corner of my, my chair. Maybe I caught that. Um, okay, so anyway, I, this kind of stuff happens all the time. Readers, this stuff happens all the time. It's very seldom that I get creeped out. I think it's cool, and I usually know who it is. But, um, but yeah, uh, maybe I caught that one on video. <laughs> anyway, um, it, it was just a, like a little ball of light, and it, it was just like kind of pulsated. And then I looked again, it was gone. Anyway, um, this is your energy, feeling calm, serene, centered. And I really do get that for you, Cancer. I've been getting that you're very relaxed, very chill. I need for you guys to drink your water though. Drink extra water. Um, I feel like you're just manifesting, honestly. Maybe some of you are manifesting and you don't even know it because I can pick up on that energy, okay? That deep in thought planning future things thinking about the things that you want um, and and really just kind of mulling over how to get to it and toying with ideas like like um, 
where should I go? What should I start? What kind of project? I'm hearing that some of you are going back to school, taking some classes, metaphysical classes. Um, some of you are learning French. Someone out here is learning French. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, but I mean, there's, there's things that you're figuring out in your mind how to reach your goals and that's manifesting that's manifesting especially if you're in a calm serene state which you have been I, I think you're just being led to be very calm very high vibing very peaceful um, and it's helping you manifest in this new person I think you're manifesting in this new person and your person is like freaking out about it. Freaking out about it. All right, give me one more card. They're moving towards you, Cancer. They're moving towards you. This person is moving towards you. It's going to surprise the crap out of you. <laughs> it is. I don't know. See, I always think that this is a pumpkin. So maybe this is going to happen closer to October. I know, guys, I know. But listen, your person needs to come to you correct. And in their situation, it's going to take some cleanup time. All right? You don't want this mess showing up at your door. Okay? Because they're, you know, then, then you'll be like, I'll spend all of my energy and time helping you clean up your mess. And that you can't do. You're going places. You're manifesting new things. You're entering into it. And you need to focus on you. Sorry, camera died. And I, I, I just pressed the button without getting my lazy butt up out of this chair. Um, yeah, so, you know, you're manifesting a new cycle. You don't, you're not, no, this person needs to heal. They need to fix their, they need to get their act together. Right? See, look, they need to get their act together. This is the same person here. They need to shave their eyebrows, right? Or get their eyebrows tweezed. They need a haircut and maybe a color, right? Uh, they, they need to put on a different shirt, trim this beard, you know? They need, to, they need to clean up their yard and all the destruction, maybe even move from, they need to get a new place to live. This house is, is torn apart right so they need to get a new place to live um and then they're just gonna pop out at you i feel like this person's just gonna one two three deep breath go for it that's kind of what i'm feeling like here there may even be like some kind of celebration um what is this it looks like people are standing behind chairs or something Oh, they're jumping out. A surprise party. Got it. They, anyway, <laughs> I'm looking deeper, guys, okay? I'm looking past this stuff. I feel like there's some kind of celebration or something, or they could even see you like what I first thought this was was movie theater seats. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> it's late. They could even... You could bump into each other at a movie theater. If you go to like the same theater um, and you go pretty regularly, this may be where somebody just pops right up on you. Um, or a celebration. Either way, I think they just they just wanna they wanna surprise you because this person really doesn't have a plan other than that. Okay? So it, this, they may surprise you and they're going to really, really, really try to trust that you're going to reach out to them, meet them halfway with that beautiful freaking energy of yours. Um, they're, they're really trying to trust it, man. This is them taking a big, deep breath and a gulp, you know? Yeah. They're really, really, they're really hoping. Maybe if they catch you off guard, maybe this person is thinking if they catch you off guard and they're cheerful, 
you might talk to them. You might say something, something to them. You know what I mean? This person's going through it, man. They're coming. They're coming, Cancer. Um, and honestly, they, they just, they want to talk to you. They want to make this right. They feel absolutely horrible. And they're feeling very vulnerable because they know they don't have a defense. They know they don't. But man, they want you to love them. They want you to love them. Um, so they're they're coming to talk before some before you end up in the arms of the new person that you're manifesting. Oof. Cancer, it's getting good, baby. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, listen. Um, yeah, that was not a short reading. I know. Um, I can't do short ones, I guess. Cancers, I love you. I love you so much. Did you guys know you're my favorites? I hope you know that. Anyway, guys, listen. This has been your late night love. Um, and uh, I love you guys. I, <laughs> it's just kind of an extension on that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Because this is awesome. Um, so anyway, Cancers is going to be really way late when I post this. I hope you guys check in on it because it is great energy um, and it's coming cancer so hang on to the edge of your seat. Okay babies. Anyway, I love you and um, until next time, take care of you my darlings and peace out. <laughs>